Hi, thanks for clicking on this video. We're going to be doing a run through of the Simon 62 Tridip brochure. Everything that you see in the video, I've got some GA layouts and some dimension drawings. It's all available. Um, if you email me at this email address, uh, Philip Bell at Silent Yachts North America dot com um, and request whatever information that you want and I'll send it right over. We have it for this boat, the 60, the 80, the 80 Tridec. Um, so let me know how I can help. So without further ado, let's take a deeper dive into the 62 Tridec. Um, so the the page that you see here is is kind of halfway through the the brochure the, the start of it there's some information about the the company as a whole which um i don't want to get tied up with but here's the the amazing silent 62 it's a stunning bow it's got great lines they've taken the platform of the silent 60 the standard the two deck uh, which i'll do a, a video on that as well um and added this enormous, um, vast flybridge deck to it as well. Raised all of the uh, solar panels, other than a few that are on the forward brow, but most of them are up on that hard top, which gets them out of the way. There's very little obstruction or, or shadows that are cast over those panels that are much more efficient. They're also the, the harder panels or the heavier, more heavy duty panels um, that can be stored up there as opposed to the, the two deck. Uh, the few panels that are on the retractable roof, if you select that in the options, they have to be more of a flexible panel, so they're not quite as efficient as these harder ones. Um, for the cost of adding the Tri-Deck option to the 60 package, um, it's worth every penny as far as I'm concerned. Um, so let's take a look at some of these renderings here. Um, the Tri-Deck's available in uh, a couple of different layouts. You can have this open style here. You can also have it enclosed and that enclosure can be anything from an office or a master stateroom or another salon. Uh, there's a bit of flexibility there. Also this um, layout here that you see, you see on the four deck, I'll zoom in on, on it here. Four deck's the open version. I love the open version of this boat. It really um, increases the size of the salon. The other option is to have it as the Ford Master, um, but that Ford Master cabin eats up a lot of space in, into the salon. I think that the, the cabin um, or the master suite, when it's placed down below, is still a fantastic suite. You also get the benefit of those huge large aspect windows in the, um, in the hull so you can see right out onto the horizon. Uh, that's something that you don't get with the on deck master. Um, here shows the hydraulic swim platform at the back. You can see at the back here, and I'll, I'll zoom in on it now. You can see a hatch there. Um, that's rear access to all of the storage space that's underneath the aft deck of the boat. When you don't have the hydraulic swim platform and it's just a fixed platform, you don't get rear access to that, um, to that storage area. Having those hatches there allows you to slide in surfboards, paddle boards. It's big enough for a, a small laser sailing dinghy, um, some kayaks, all sorts of things can, can slide in back there. So that's an, a, a, an added benefit of having that hydraulic swim platform, which in my opinion, is kind of essential for the boat anyway. Uh, this is the enclosed version. See, it adds all of the um, structured windows around there. There is an option to have the forward window in the enclosed version as a retractable window. So you can almost have this as sort of an interior, exterior sort of space as well if you just wanted it as um, another entertaining area or a salon or something. It's got big aft doors, so you can open the aft doors, open the front, and then you kind of have best of, of both worlds, which still have in this space as um, air conditioned. Uh, another shot there um, of the profile, you can see they still integrate these, these big um, uh, sort of side lounging areas, which is a drag on from some of the original boats. And it's a great area. Um, we just signed um, 
a new build and, and they're placing some of the underwater lights so they're opposite this seating area here so they can still see out and, and see the fish swimming around. It's a, it's a very cool feature. Um, here again, you can see the, the aft hatch. There's actually two hatches there at the back where that hydraulic swim platform is. I have a, a tender and toy storage presentation that shows um, sort of the ergonomics of that storage area. Um, so that's another thing that you can request uh, if you'd like to see that. Some of the um, dimensions here, the, the water and the, the fuel, there are some options to add additional um, storage capacity for those as well. Um, the uh, electrical propulsion and, and, the, and the battery packs that you can have, there's, there's three options, um, the basic, the ePower and the ePower Plus, which I detailed in, in another video. So now let's take a look at some of the interior renderings. So these first couple of renderings are of the Ford Master version. Um, I'll show you on the, on the layouts or on the GA when we look at that later, the footprint of the, um, of the Master Salon or, or the, the Ford Master how much of that um, eats into the salon area, you'll be able to see that on the, the GAs um, here in a few minutes. So it's a, a, it's a beautiful area. I, I mentioned in some of the previous videos, some of the customization that can be done to the, to the boat as far as fabrics, materials, colors. Um, I mean, you, you can really design a bespoke interior to, to match um, what your specific tastes are. And there are some different styles in this brochure that you can see. Uh, this is a side look from the starboard looking port, going down those stairs that are just forwards of the galley there, um, leads you to uh, two cabins. And there's also a little laundry area there where you can have a full size stackable um, over and under washer dryer looking aft. So this is looking at the, um, the entrance to the master cabin when you have it as an on deck master. So there's a couple of steps down that lead down to that door and that door then takes you straight into, you basically walk into the, the foot of the bed um, of the master cabin. Uh, with the Ford master version, you, there's uh, kind of changes the layout a, a little bit in this in this salon area. Not only does it um, take up some of that forward space, which would otherwise be um, part of the salon in the front exit version, um, but it also changes some of the the stairs layout and the cabinet layouts on the starboard side of this of this area. Still a beautiful room. It's the head heights here are, are pretty impressive. Um, even all throughout the boat, even in the, down in the cabins as well. So if you're a taller person, um, these boats are, are, are really quite well suited for you. So now we go to the front exit version. Um, this is a darker style, more, a bit more of a, a contemporary style than, than the previous that we saw. Um, here you can see on the starboard side, the covers or the, the door hatches that go down into the starboard cabins. Um, they, uh, they're actually on sliders. So that whole L shape piece there, you can see one of them there. And on the next picture, you can see the other hatch here. They actually slide um, inwards and then you, you access the, the stairs um, going down to, down to the boat. Now on, on this, picture here you can see that front exit leading out to the the front lounge area of the boat or the forward lounge area um, the 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 master cabin if this was the the forward master version or the forward master layout that cabin actually comes up to the back of the sofa of the forward um, section of the the sofa here so you can kind of get an idea of how much it eats into the overall salon. This is a massive, massive room. The, the volumes in these boats are, are huge. And, and this room is, is, is very impressive when it's the, the front exit version. 
Um, another shot of the aft deck, the back rest there to the to the aft seating. Um, they move forward and aft, so you can either have them so that the backrest is in the aft position as it is here, and then you're sort of facing towards the front of the boat, or you can slide those forwards and you can sit facing the other way, assuming that the tender's in the water, and actually look aft. It's a really cool uh, feature of, um, of the aft deck here. Some of the focuses here, you can see the, 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 that forward area. If you opt this boat to include a, a crew cabin, so we have the, the four stateroom layout or the four plus one, that plus one being the, the crew cabin. We have options for a five stateroom and also a five plus one as well. The access to the crew accommodation is down through this little sunbathing pad here on the um, on the front of the boat. So if you have the on deck master, then there's no room here for the um, uh, for the crew accommodation. Here's a, a, a look on the um, on the master cabin when it's the forward master or the front master layout. So that's the master cabin that you enter from the salon. And this door here that you see at the foot of the bed, they're the steps that you go down from the salon leading straight into the, into the cabin. Um, another shot of it, nice little desk area. It's a huge cabin. If you, if you really want to just have a, a, a as large a master stateroom as possible, then, then you'll enjoy this, this particular layout. Personally, I prefer it when you have the front exit version, that large salon, and then this um, image here is showing the master stateroom when it is uh, down in the, on the starboard side, it's forward on the starboard side. So you can have it laid out with a, um, either a seating area here, which you will have seen some renderings of, no doubt, or you can have it maximized with some additional cupboard and, and storage space. See this particular client opted for a, a little wine cooler and a, and a sort of coffee and, and juice preparation area. Um, this is the master bathroom. There's all sorts of different styles and colors you can, you can go for here. Going back to the cabin here as well. I mean, from the floors to the veneers, to the color of the um, cabinetry, the color of the, um, or, or the fabrics that are used in the headboard, the fabrics that are used around the bed frame itself. I mean, you can, you can really dial, um, dial this area in to, to look exactly how you want it to. So a couple of, um, couple of layouts here. Um, this, is, this first one shows the uh, open version of the the third deck um we've actually turned the this bar area here we've actually turned that around to sort of run bow to stern now i'll go on to a just a, a, a non-colorized version of that upper deck so here you can see that it's a great improvement it it adds some bar stools and sort of a, a bar lean to area makes the, the helm a bit of a nicer area and there's a, um, a day bed next to the helm. Um, plenty of seating up here and there's options for having either a, a, a loose table with all individual chairs or you can have it as more built-in seating. Um, here it shows the master stateroom up in the enclosed version of that tri-deck. And here's just a, an example of what the um, sort of enclosed area would be if you were just to have it as a, a dining area. And, and you can make this sort of a, a seating or a lounge area or, or an office. As I say, there's some flexibility to the um, specific layouts here. Even when it is enclosed, you still have that large exterior area aft. Um, so you don't lose all of the open aspect of the of the third deck even when you have it enclosed um, going down to the salon um, 
and I'll flick between the front exit version and the Ford Master. This is the front exit version now. Um, and there's a, an option to have the galley down. You see the galley is here on the, the aft side on the port. This is the galley down version showing the salon where you just have a large interior dining space um, and lose that, that galley area. Um, now here's the, the aft galley, but this is the, um, the forward master version. So you can see here where the, where the sofa ends, the forward end of the sofa, and then there's nothing forward to that. That's actually all of the master cabin. And if we flick back to the front exit version, you can see how much you gain there by just having that completely open. I mean, it's a, it's a huge area having that, that open. There's no right or wrong answer though. It's just personal preference, what, whatever you, you prefer. Good thing is, is that there are, there are options. Um, so you can, you can select exactly what you, what you prefer. Down into the, the, um, stateroom area, um, towards the uh, beginning part of the video, I, I pointed out stairs on the port side that went down to a laundry area. And this is what you see here. And as far as the cabins go, or the bed layout, um, there are some options to have on the, the, the port side aft stateroom to have those as two individual or, or twin beds that can be slid together to create a double. Um, makes it a bit more versatile for people if they have um, kids or maybe even want to charter the boat. And this is that, um, that aft cabin shown there with the two individual beds that can be slid together, but also it shows the forward um, crew cabin there. So you can see the, the overall footprint of the port forward stateroom when it doesn't have the crew integrated into that overall space. And then you can see the layout and, and everything that changes once you add the crew. When you add the crew, it essentially takes up the area of that cabin that's dedicated to a bathroom um, or the head. And then when you add the crew, that head gets moved aft um, and the footprint is, is used for the crew cabin. There's a solid wall between the this port forward stateroom and the crew. So there's no access between the two. Um, but you can see the, the dedication of space. Um, here in the master stateroom, again, this is when the master is down, you can see that sofa area or lounge area that can be integrated if you don't want it as the um, additional uh, closet space or that little um, breakfast nook or, or, or drinks preparation area. And then this shows the five stateroom layout. So you can see the middle cabin there on the starboard side. That's where that fifth um, stateroom would go. Um, but you do lose all of that suite area to the master stateroom. And essentially the, the master then gets moved over to the, um, to the port side, which would then be the, the largest cabin. And this is the five plus one. So all of the cabins get, get reduced. I mean, to fit five staterooms plus crew accommodation on a 60 foot catamaran, you're, you're really having to capitalize on every available little um, piece, of, piece of space there. Um, so these are some other, uh, some other layouts here. You can see um, that port aft cabin is now the galley when you select it as a galley down option. Um, uh, and, um, and some other options here for um, different types of uh, sizes of bedrooms and, and things. This is actually showing the, um, the, the on-deck master version. You can see that forward area with, with the master cap in there. Um, so the final thing I wanted to, to show you briefly was the dimensions drawings of the tri-deck. Um, you can zoom in on or pause the video on this as you please, but this shows you the, the draft, the air height. If you're concerned with air height or bridge clearance, then you should look at the, the two deck version um, with the retractable roof that drops it down to well below 
um, the minimum height requirement that you need to do um, any of those northern passages so the, the Erie Canal fixed bridge um, it gets well well beneath that and there are some options to, to make the highest point here that navigation uh, mast make that as a, a foldable um, mast so then the, the maximum height becomes the, the top of the um, the domes, the, the um, sap domes. Um, so like I said um, initially I have all of these um, all of these brochures ready to go um, uh, you can email me or call me um, my my number is um, is on a lot of the uh, advertisements that you see on on Yacht World and things for the Sound Yachts North America yacht um, the brochure I have for the standard 60 the standard 80 and also the the Trider 80 also have a um, brochure for the 100 um, so email me is my email address once again um, let me know how I can help and I'll email it over to you so Thanks for watching um, and let me know how I can help.